problem with Prometheus is it keeps posing all these different questions and they don't get answers at all. Mm-hmm. And some of and it's not like some sort of you know metaphorical philosophical thing that you debate and think about. It's like plot holes that you're trying yes. to figure out well, well why did that happen? Yeah, well, why did this happen? And you have no holes, idea why yeah. anything happened, which is just bad storytelling. I know. That's actually uh, the other thing, you know, plot holes. They were huge as hell and they just kept on piling on shit yeah. upon question upon question and it never amounted to anything. You know, it was kind of like lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Problem number two. Um, the film kind of tries to pass itself off as being this somewhat intellectual kind of film. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the whole sort of, you know, having faith, the origin of mankind, <sighs> religion versus science. But, you know, it's... <sighs> They, they use it as kind of the backdrop, but once they get on the alien planet and shit starts hitting the fan, they pretty much put it on the back burner, and that whole notion never amounts to anything. I mean, are you sure it's the writer of Lost? I'm positive. It are was you one sure? Of the writers because of Lost. it doesn't look like it looks like it was wrote, written by fucking producers who really think they were really smart and edgy. That's how I thought. Well, actually, they wrote it just you know producers just wiped out their ass and says that's how it's gonna look. Yeah. You know, it, could it, have been, it could have been a really good idea. I mean, I wasn't expecting this movie to be some kind of deep philosophical human analysis to begin with. I mean, the trailer, I thought, made it look like pretty much a straight-up horror flick. Mm-hmm. But yeah. can you imagine how cool that would have been if, like, humans actually Me. did go out seeking where their origins came from? And then they find it, and they find this, like, horrible monstrosity, and they realize that, like... Their origins weren't something glamorous and were actually something yeah, I accidental do. and possibly horrifying. Okay, I have to give this movie credit that the the idea, even that it's not original since you saw it on Star Trek, <laughs> yeah. but still, I have to give credit that this, it's an actually a very good, neat idea. It's just, that, it's just that it didn't execute very well. I don't think it was. I, I, think, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it was very well executed. I like the idea of meeting the ones who created you and then they want, and then they just want to kill you. <laughs> you Especially know? if the creation was an accident. If which, the creation was an accident, exactly. Which they never clarify, by the way, for all you listeners out there. We were talking about unanswered questions. They kind of allude as to how humans were made in the beginning, but it's never cemented, and they never say if it was deliberate or accidental or what the fuck the reasons are. So, yeah. so which means <laughs> is that Jesus doesn't have a beard or has like a, a long hair. He's white. Yeah, and he G- looks G- like Kratos. Yeah, Jesus looks like Kratos. He's ghost of Sparta. I <laughs> know, oh, ghost of Jerusalem. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nazareth. What kind of gods oh, can Kratos fight in Jerusalem? Oh. <laughs> and the wise men. That's why you see the four stars. <laughs> that's where the wise men are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, do you think? Why don't we get to the nut? Uh, nut of the real reason why this movie sucks. It's really fucking. St- Stupid. Yes, it's very. There stupid. is so much dumbassery just running rampant in this film. By everything, like, like by the characters, the story, how it goes. Yeah, the the people may as well have been called victim one, victim two, because they yeah. have about <laughs> you know th- their abilities of self preservation are about as you know competent as any Star Trek red shirt, mm-hmm. and. Ugh, you know, that, that's a feeling of the script, too. We don't care about any of these characters. No. So when they die, it's like, whatever. No, no. But, you know, you, you want to just kind of start rambling off stupid moments. I mean, you, you tell them about the space cobra vagina. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, God, the space yes, cobra vagina. Yes, space Are cobra you vagina. Seriously? Okay. All right, this, this movie has a lot of finishes. You might like <laughs> We got muscle and so tentacles stupid. and hentai. Okay, it, it's almost like you got these two stoners. Actually, I, it's actually uh, Friday the 13th in space. I just call them Scooby and Shaggy. Yeah, I don't Scooby, Scooby and Shaggy. I don't know. They actually look like Scooby and Shaggy. I mean, you, you got the, the geologist and the biologist, right? The geologist yeah. is the fucking asshole. In the very first minute, I was like, I don't want to make any friends. Oh, uh, he's meatbag number one. And, yeah. He talks with he talks with a, with an accent. And he howled like a wolf, so he's the token crazy guy. Yeah, but these t- it's like a, like so if you want me to explain about this uh, the alien dong that happens there <laughs> pops yeah. out. It's just that these guys when they found out the the corpse of Kratos and when they found out all the jars and the big statue head, 
the two uh, scientists, or Scooby and Shaggy, they just get scared, and they want to leave. Like, Zoinks! Let's go, Scoo! So they, they run away, and then a few minutes later, when they go back to the ship, uh, the other, they, they say, where are the other two guys? Where's Scooby and Shaggy? Right. They're like, what? They got lost? How the fuck was that possible? Because the geologists had these two balls that actually can draw a map. Yeah, how'd they get lost? They had a fucking 3D map. And 3D map. And they don't have anyone to tell it, hey, you have to go to this direction to get to the base. No. And that's another thing. They're all assholes. Mm-hmm. All the characters are assholes. So anyway. Yeah. So oh, they don't, stay... don't, don't, don't you just love how when the <laughs> biologist actually found the corpse of a dead alien, he freaks out. He yeah, doesn't, like, that doesn't gets... make any sense. He's a biologist. He's Wouldn't a he be like, biologist. ooh, a corpse. I know. This is very interesting. Yeah. Th- I want to exactly. look at this alien body. Yes, it's like, he will be fascinating. Now, I think the guy doesn't like aliens. I think he gets turned on by tentacle dongs or something like that. Yeah, and that's where we come to this one thing. He like, you know, he finds an alien corpse in this one room, and then he and Scooby decide to run away, and they get lost. And then yeah. they come back to the same room. Oh, oh, and oh, oh then... wait, uh, they actually find. Now, check this out. They actually, when they leave and they get lost, they actually find a huge pile of fossils, a huge pile of with corpses, with their chest open, right? And they got even more scared, right? It's like a haunted house. So they go back to the jars, right? Then, go on. <laughs> yeah, it's, they're like going, eh, hey, I got weed in my helmet. There we go. I got a hookah. And, yeah, and like these jars, it's like earlier in the movie they found this room that's full of these things and this giant face monument thing, and they don't know what the hell is going on in it. But these guys are in here, and all of a sudden, like this goop on the floor moves around. And then this tentacle thing just kind of comes out of the goop. And they kind of freak out, and then this biologist, who, if you recall, we said earlier, just freaked out after seeing a corpse, he sees a live alien creature of some sort Mm -hmm. basically staring at him in the face and goes, hold on, no, wait, 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 it's beautiful. I know, what the fuck was that? I was like, what? Look at her, she's adorable. And then he touches it. Well, he's not even, he touches it, I mean, what I love is so (laughs) stupid. It was so stupid, yeah, because... It's it's a fuck. I mean, he gets closer, and it flares out like a fucking cobra, and yes. it hisses at him. Yes, exactly. It just... It, I mean, Which that's the first sign. a universal sign. Yes, that's, that's the sign that, yeah, he doesn't like you, he's gonna kick your ass. So you better stay away from it, you know? I don't know why he got fascinated by a, a little little cobra alien penis. Instead of the huge Kratos aliens. Yeah, why didn't he? Why didn't he freak out about the live alien and not the dead one? Whatever. I don't know. These characters. Here's one thing which always really pissed me off about this. I mean, the, I, I lost count of how many times I rolled my eyes at this movie, but the first red flag when I knew we were going to be in trouble is very early on when they're doing the briefing on the mission. This is like you know, not even a third of the movie, and they go in. You know, the whole movie kind of prefaces with these two archaeologists finding, like, a cave painting. And we find out later that what they did is they apparently found all these different cave paintings all over the world from different civilizations and different time periods, all all with a more or less identical symbol on it. You know, it's like this tall guy pointing at a cluster of dots. And they're doing this brief. And there's a few things here which just piss me the hell off. Uh, first of all, it's established that this is like a deep space expedition that cost like at least a trillion dollars. Oh yeah, that's, that's how they said. They actually said a trillion a dollars. Trillion. And you know what? That's okay. I really want to put this into perspective because I don't think people even really effectively comprehend how much a trillion is because it's a fuck ton of a lot. Oh yeah. Uh, this this is the example I was always told, and I'm pretty sure this is the case. But all right, you know, one second, a single second. One million seconds is, I believe, like 11 or 12 days. That's one million seconds. One billion seconds is 31 years. (laughs) One trillion seconds is 
over 31,000 years. <laughs> a trillion is a hell of a lot, and this expedition supposedly cost a trillion dollars. Yeah, I rolled my eyes on that part. Dun, yeah. 